Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. This week's class is a 30 minute core power vinyasa flow where we are going to have fun. We're going to work the quads, work the core, work the body. We're going to be utilizing the essential oil joy today because when you're done with this class, you just might need it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. If you'd like to know why I chose this oil, stick around to the end of the class. You can also grab them in the link below in the comments. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave us your feedback. Give us a thumbs up if you like this class. If you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at Mary underscore Om Yoga. You can also connect with my monthly newsletter at www.essentiallyom.com. All right, let's get started. We begin with the application of our oil. If you're not using them, find your way to down dog. Otherwise, take a drop of joy. If you're going to be in the sun today, don't apply this over your heart. If you're not, go ahead and take it and apply over your heart. And if it's going to be covered, you'll be fine. And then we're going to cup our hands over our nose. Take a big deep breath in. One more inhale. And everybody meet in downward facing dog. Begin with your feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart as you draw your tailbone towards the sky. Try to roll your shoulders out so you're trying to spread them apart. And begin to bend into one knee and then the other. Take a moment and think about where do we need to draw in more fun into our life? And by finding a state of joy with our attitude and our thoughts, we can have fun no matter what we face. So think about this today as we practice. <laughs> Finding joy in every asana, no matter what it may be. Okay, you're going to inhale, glide forward like you're going to come into high plank, but pause. Then as you exhale, bend into your knees, hover your knees two inches off the mat. Inhale, reach your hips up. Exhale, press your heels back, back to down dog. Inhale, up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees and hover. Pull the navel in. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, press back down dog. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. We're going to inhale, look forward. And as we exhale, step our way to our ragdoll. So you're going to take your feet hip distance apart. Bend the knees, rest the chest and the torso on the thighs. You can grab onto opposite elbows if you like. And take just a few moments here. And then gently release the hands down. Toe heel the feet together. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold. Find your bend in the knees. Keep the bend in the knees, and then we're going to inhale, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. And as we exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Let your palms touch. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Let your gaze fall down to your fingertips and close the eyes. Let's just take a quick pause here. We're going to connect with breath but I also want us to connect with an intention. What brings us joy? Wherever you are, let go of all of your air out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose, fill up the belly. Audible exhale, let it go. Again, inhale. Audible exhale. Last one. Inhale. 
exhale. Now one intentional breath for our intention. Breathe in through the nose, breathing in your joy. Exhaling anything that causes us to feel sad or down. Slowly begin to open the eyes, release the hands down by your sides. We're gonna start with half sun salutations. Inhale, arms sweep to the sky. Then as we exhale, draw the navel in, bring your hands through your heart center or swan dive. Release them down to the ground, bending into the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back this time, rise up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna add on one more. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now we're gonna inhale, sit into our chair pose. Lift the arms to the sky, tailbone to points towards the floor. Relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. Take an inhale to lift the heart. Now as we exhale, we're gonna goal post the arms so the elbows are in line with the shoulders, palms face out. Energy through the fingertips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, sit just a little deeper. Now, inhale, gaze up. Think about a cat arch right here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna cow. So bring your elbows towards one another, arch the spine. Inhale, lift, gaze up. Exhale, round, elbows together. Inhale, up, lift up. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, gaze up. And then as we exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale, coming into our first chaturanga. You can lower your knees, make sure that your elbows and shoulders are in line. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as we exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale, lift the right leg towards the sky and pause. Point your toes down towards the floor. So you have an internal rotation with your right thigh here. One more inhale as you reach through your right heel and as you exhale, low lunge. Plant your right foot forward. Squeeze the inner thighs together and inhale, rise into your crescent lunge. Think about knitting your low ribs together here. So we're not trying to splay open the chest. We're keeping it in line. Big deep breath in. Now as you exhale, you're gonna hover your left knee two inches off the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, crescent. Then as you exhale, think about a back bend here. Once again, goal post the arms. Lift up and out of the low back. Big deep breath in. And as we exhale, release down, vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Pause. Let your toes point down towards the floor, left toes this time, and think about the internal rotation to the left thigh here. Big deep breath in as you reach further through the left heel, and as you exhale, find your low lunge. Inhale, rise up with strength. Crescent pose, and again, think about drawing the navel in to keep your ribs in rather than out. Exhale, bend into the right knee. Drop it towards the floor, but not all the way down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, cactus the arms, back bend. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Bend deeper into the front knee. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Big deep breath in. And exhale, release it down. Vinyasa. 
flowing with your breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your way to the top, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, arms up. Exhale, goal post. Inhale, lift the heart, gaze up. Exhale, round elbows together. Inhale, open, gaze up. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise crescent. Exhale, bend into the left knee, drop it down almost to the floor. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend, keep the belly in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, cactus the arms, gaze up. Big deep breath in. And exhale, release it down. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. You having fun yet? Exhale, down dog. See why I said you might need some joy after this? You're gonna inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, bend into the right knee, almost to the floor. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, back bend, lift the heart, lift the chest. Big deep breath in. And exhale, release down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit into your chair. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, we rise, crescent. Add a smile to your face last time. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, gaze up, stay lifting out of the low back. And exhale, release it. We'll meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, bend into the right knee, lower it down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Again, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, back bend. Lift the heart, cactus the arms. Big deep breath in, bend into the front knee. And exhale, release it down. Vinyasa.
Once you're in your down dog, pause. Say hello to your quads. <laughs> Feeling your heart. Connecting with breath. And you're gonna inhale, come forward. We'll pause here in a quick tabletop. Release the knees down, release the feet, press the mat away, pull the navel in. Now let's just take a, a couple um, kind of side openers, twi not twists, but side openers with some rolls. So as you inhale, begin to lean over to the right and sit your hips back towards the right foot. And then over to the left. I'm gonna switch the breath. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Pause, switch it out. Exhale to the left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale right, one more time. Exhale left. Inhale right. Take a quick cat. Press the mat away. Cow. Lift the heart. And then we're going to come back to our table. This is where the fun begins, my friends. Okay. You're going to have your wrists underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and tuck your toes. You're going to lift your knees up off the mat about mm, two inches. So kind of like we began, right? So you're gonna inhale, lift the right leg up, right foot off the ground. Then as you exhale, lunge it forward. Stay with your left knee bent, but lift it. Inhale, rise, kind of like our crescent. Then as you exhale, hands come back down to the ground. And instead of stepping your right foot back, you're gonna step it over to the left. So kind of like your fallen star, you have the option to keep your foot down or keep it lifted. Then we're gonna come back to our table hover, okay? You're gonna inhale, lift the left knee up off the ground, more left foot off the ground. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, lunge, keep your knee lifted. Find joy in the fact that a puppy's practicing with us. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Left leg now comes through to the right side. Lift the right arm up. And again, back to hover. Inhale, lift the right foot off the ground. Exhale, step it forward, lunge, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, open, kind of like your Vashistasana, extend the left, right leg to the left. Back to your hover, inhale, left foot lifts, exhale, step it forward, inhale, lift up, Exhale, hands down, left foot through to the right side. Lift the right arm up if you can. Again, back to hover. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Exhale, step it forward. Stay low to the ground with your left knee, lift up. Exhale, hands down, right leg through. Can you lift it off the ground this time? Back to center, hover. Inhale, left leg, left foot lifts. Exhale, step it forward. Stay low with your right knee to the ground, but not on the ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Left foot through to the right. Maybe lift your right arm. Let's do that one more time for fun. Back to your hover. Maybe walk your knees in a little bit so they're more aligned under your hips. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, lunge, arms up. Exhale down, right leg through, extend the left arm up. Inhale back to your hover. Lift the left foot. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, rise, you got this. Exhale, hands down, left leg through, lift the right arm. Exhale, back to your hover and then drop to your knees. Take your feet together, knees open, child's pose.
Stay with the breath. In and out through the nose. And you're going to inhale, press yourself up. And we're going to come into our forearm plank. Bring your forearms down. Make an 11, or you can interlace your hands together and then step your feet back. Press your heels back towards the back of your mat. Keep drawing the navel in. Keep pressing the mat away. If you need to modify, you're going to drop to your knees, but lift your feet. Find your layer and we hold. Find joy that you are strengthening your body, which in turn is strengthening your soul. We have one body while we are here. Keep pressing them out of way. Find joy in your body getting stronger. Breath getting softer. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one quick child's pose knees out chest down forehead down come back to the breath and then you're going to inhale yourself through table and as you exhale, find your way to your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up. And as we exhale, low lunge. Drop the back knee, release the toes. Inhale, rise into your crescent moon. So your back knee is down. Your toes are untucked. Make sure that your knee does not go beyond your ankle on your right leg. And then we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up, draw the navel in. Okay, and then as we exhale, let's go ahead and bring the hands down to the thigh. So you can interlace your hands here. I'm gonna give you the option to stay here. Bend deeper into the front knee, just making sure the knee again doesn't, you know, drop forward, puts too much pressure on the joints. And then maybe take your right, forearm, almost elbow to your knee. Then if you want to, you're gonna bend into your left leg, inhale, left arm up, and as you exhale, reach around for your left foot. Okay, so finding what works for your body. Inhale, keep the heart forward. Then as you exhale, maybe begin to gaze back towards the left, but try not to turn the body too much. And you're slowly gonna release the leg. Then we're just gonna walk the right foot over and come into our half pigeon. So make sure your left toes point straight back. If you need to modify, come on your, on your back, thread the needle, lift the heart. And as you exhale, lower down into your pigeon. Let the right hip gently pull back. Let the breath be steady. And then we're going to inhale, walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. And as we exhale, three-legged dog, take your right leg up and over. And lower it down. And then we're going to inhale, left leg to the sky. And as we exhale, find our low lunge, drop the back knee, release the toes. 
and inhale into our crescent moon. Pull the navel in and then release the hands down to the thigh, interlace the hands or you can keep them separate. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Make sure that your left knee doesn't go beyond your ankle. Lift the heart. Exhale, bend a little deeper. Just releasing the front side of the legs. Now bring your left forearm or elbow to your left knee. Maybe you stay here. Otherwise, you're gonna bend into your right knee. Inhale, reach the right arm up and back. Going for a little bit of a deeper stretch here, if that feels good for the body. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. And as you exhale, begin to bring your gaze back. But again, we're not trying to twist the body today. And then slowly release. Go ahead and walk the left foot over to the right side. Release the left knee to the outer edge of the left wrist. We're going to come into our half pigeon from here. Lift the heart. And as we exhale, melt forward. Trying to squeeze the inner thighs together. And then you're going to walk your hands back, lift your heart, lift your chest. And as you exhale, press back, three-legged dog. And slowly make your way back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, step forward, have a seat. We're going to lay on our backs. Come on down, hug your knees into your chest. We're going to take a very simple twist here. And drop your knees over to the left as you walk your hips to the right. And then gaze over to your right arm. Keep your right shoulder plugged in and down. And then gently bring your knees back to center. Hug, squeeze in. And switch it out. Knees over to the right. So we let our gaze fall to the left. Close the eyes down this time. Left shoulder is connected to the mat. And then inhale, draw your knees into your chest. If you would like to take a shavasana longer than 60 seconds go ahead and pause the video otherwise stay where you are give your knees a big squeeze try to press your tailbone towards the floor and then draw your forehead in towards your knees big squeeze and then exhale into your shavasana let your body melt let your mind be free Slowly begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Inhale, extend your arms up overhead. Take a full body stretch. Exhale, draw your knees to your chest. And then from here, bring yourself up to a seat. The top of your mat. 
Once there, hands to heart center. Gaze down, close the eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, if you made it to the end of this flow, give me a hashtag. I flowed with it. Why did we use joy today? Well, <laughs> maybe you're done and you're like, okay, now I know why I needed joy. Anyways, I hope that the class brought in some fun into your life, some fun into your practice, but I did choose this blend specifically because it helps to open our heart center, allows us to live from a state of joy, lifting the vibration. It contains rose oil, which is one of the highest frequency oils. And that is a big deal because everything runs on a frequency. And the more that we can lift and raise our own frequency, we're going to find ourselves in a happier state of mind. Um, this is a blend that also contains bergamot, ylang ylang, geranium, lemon, coriander, tangerine, jasmine, and Roman chamomile, palmarosa, and as I mentioned, rose. Because this contains some citrus oils, be sure not to put it on yourself and then go lay out in the sun. You can put it in other places like your feet or just inhale to be able to get the benefits. If you are ready to become a part of my oily family and get 24 seven support from me, be sure to click the link in the comment below. You really do get an entire community that is here to support you as well as one-on-one -on -one guidance and mentorship from me and a really awesome, amazing welcome package. But that is a surprise as to what I send. All right. I am excited to see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's flow.